friends. Right? I'm just going to apologize for all the evil advice I gave to you concerning your marriage. Right? See, I, I know I've wronged you. I've wronged you. But I was just acting out of ignorance. Don't mind Nduka. Nduka is because of all this issue. Nduka will be here pretending that eh, the wife is the one doing everything in the house. But when you get to their house, Nduka will be able to see you. Nduka is the one doing everything in the house. And never hear you pretending. I love God. I don't want to cut you into pieces. If you know what is good for you now, just leave my house. for me and I've been keeping quiet I've equally spoken to the mom about it which the mom has advised her but she's becoming worse and I'm just keeping quiet because I don't want people to see me as a bad person because of what happened in my previous marriage but I just can't tell I'm just I'm just living in hell it's okay hmm? I have heard everything you said. But you see, I want you to go home, then come back with your wife, so that I'll hear her own version of the story and know exactly what the problem is. Father, Justina will never come. She will never come. And I'm sorry. That reminds me. I've not been seeing her in church. That's the problem. She has stopped coming to church. Each time I call her for us to come to church, she will threaten me with pouring me hot water. Father, it's gone that bad. Uh, you see, you are the head of the house. Christ is the head of the house. But you, you're put in charge to make sure things go well. I would advise you keep this to yourself. And I'm sure you've not told anybody no, about this. No. I've always told the mom. She's the only one that will advise her, even though sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you see, I will personally come to the house, okay? okay I'll come to the house. But you see what? Before you leave the chapel, pray. Pray fervently, okay? I'll come to the house tomorrow morning after my own mass. Okay, Father, I will appreciate it. The peace of the Lord be with you. And to you too. Thank you. Well with you. 
Sit over there and talk, huh? But he's sleeping. Yeah. No, let's let's talk. I thought you said the husband was sleeping. Yes, I I didn't know when he came out here. You're welcome. Oh. No, peace be unto you and to you too, Father. Let me, let me quickly get a seat for you, eh? Father, it's 
see you need to be submissive to your husband. Obey him and respect him according to the will of the Bible. Father, it's not like I've done anything wrong to my husband. I have never done anything wrong to him. But my problem with him is that he talks too much, Father. He does. We had little misunderstanding in the house. Instead of him to calm down so we can settle it as husband and wife, he ran straight to the parish house to disturb you. And I'm very, very sure he will be telling everybody about this. And it's wrong. No, no, my sister. You see, he only confided in me. He didn't tell any other person. Mm. Please, learn how to live with your husband in peace. Well, Father, I'm a peacemaker. But if... If you really want us to execute this peace in this house, then you have to also talk to him. Because as the head of the family, it has to start from him. Yes, you're correct. You're correct. I will definitely talk to him. And I know things will change. Oh, you see, see, as the woman, you've got a lot to do in bringing peace to your home. I had... You said he... He wanted to kill you the same way he killed his late wife with the unborn baby. Exactly, Father. Exactly. Nothing hurts me than that. Every day, every day, every day, she keeps lamenting on that that I killed, that I want to kill her the way I killed my, 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 my previous wife. How can she be reminding me of that? Why won't I? The woman I love so dearly. I think, I think I'm lying. Am I lying? Lying about her. Father, even he himself can confirm to that. You can testify to that. Testify to what? Only, only if you That I killed my wife? Yes! Uh, who, who doesn't know the truth? Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You see, there is no home that is devoid of problems. Mm -hmm. Every home has its own peculiar problem. But the way and manner you handle it matters a lot. You're Christians, Catholic for that matter. And I also heard you said he would, should give you money before sleeping with you as his wife. Yes, <laughs> if, if that is true, then it's not proper because the both of you are legally married. And you should live together as one. Father, can't I joke again with my husband? Can't I joke? I was only joking with him and he knows. One. <laughs> I am joking with him. I don't have any issue. As a matter of fact, Father, we are good. What are you? We are so good together, aren't we? Are you, we are. Are you yeah. sure what you're saying? <laughs> Let me confirm it to you. Baby. Mm. You know? <laughs> so we are so good together. I want to believe what I'm saying is true. Thank and you. we'll thank God for this genuine reconciliation. Yes. Let the peace of the Lord continue to be with you. <laughs> If Uchendu. Uchendu, do you know that you are very, very stupid? You're hopeless. You're mad. In fact, you're extremely insensitive. So because I refused to reduce myself for you to kill me just the way you killed your first wife, now you stupidly and shamelessly went to the Reverend Father. Now you invited me. What has happened? Eh? You invited Jesus to come and carry me, Abba. Even I'm okay. You're not ashamed of yourself. So you don't have respect for a man of God who just left here not up to five minutes. Who is the man of God? Who is the man of God? On our query. Oh please! Spare me that rubbish! I'm, I don't have respect to the man of God. Hi, Jesus Christ. Do you know the most annoying part of it? 
Telling me here. Please leave my house. Go now, leave my house. Auntie Grace, sending me out of your house will not solve this situation. I have always told you the truth. I don't know where he is. I don't. I swear to you. I have gone so many places to look for him, yet I couldn't find him. I even went to his shop and they said he hasn't been there for six days now. Eh? The most confusing part of it all is that he never told me he was traveling to anywhere. So I'm so confused right now. I think what we should do is to put our heads together and look for him. Remember he's your brother. He's your brother. Justina, 
please leave my house. I should leave? Yes, leave. I think it's high time I called your mother into this matter. I, maybe they will force this thing out from your mouth. I am giving you only four days. Four days to provide my brother. Four days! Keeping news about this case will not help us. Chasing me out of your house will not also help us. Eh? I have always told you the truth though. It's true that I quarrel with my husband at times, but I don't have the heart to hurt him. I cannot hurt my own husband. I can't. Please. I mean, it has not gotten to the, to, to the level of involving your mother. I mean, it has not gotten to the level of involving your mother. Please, now. I'm sorry for everything I've done wrong to you. I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> Justina, have you finished? Don't worry. Oh, my dad will be involved very soon. But like I said, though, go and bring my brother for me. Provide him wherever you kept him. Or you are going to see. And besides, what are you even doing here? I found some kids you are nasty. Idiot. And all this while you'll be doing grab, 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 this you're going to better provide him. I'm mafia. <laughs> You wouldn't say I did not want you. You wouldn't say I did not want you. I want you. But you refused to listen. You had choose to do that which was wrong before you. Now you came back and want more advice. You packed all the things I told you that would, be, would have been beneficial to you and threw them into the river. Now you came back for more words. My daughter, it is dried. I don't have any more things to add. Mama. Because you would do nothing with them. Mama. Mama, this is not the time to apportion blame. Mm. I have so many going on in my head right now and I'm not here for you to blame me for the wrongs I did. I am only here for you to advise me and then give me, show me the way forward so we can find my husband. Justina, you would have thought about this when your head was swelling up. You would have thought about this. See, let me tell you, look at my armpits. So there are no grey hairs in them. I don't have any grey hairs. If you know what is good for you, just go and look for your husband. Go and search for him like your, 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 your sister-in-law told you. Because if your mother decides to come after you, eh? Hey, hey, Ogadi Gebu, you won't, won't have any choice. You saw what they do to Okota for beating up his uh, wife for drinking. Eh, uh -huh. how much more are you? Go and look for your husband's friends and inquire from them where he is. Find him. Because your mother will deal with him. I am not at home. Did you see me at home? You didn't meet me at home. Mm -hmm. About what? What are you doing? You're doing this to your own daughter. What do you, where, do you, where do you expect me to go to now? Find your husband. Go find your husband. And as I'm talking to you, I thought you would have been going. Are you standing there? I say it because I am not at home. I say go. Go and for, for, for your husband. Go. Go. Mama, leave me alone. Go. Leave me alone. I will go. I will go. Go. I am going. If you don't see him, don't come back here again. If you don't find him, I don't want to see you in my house again. See that I'm going back. You killed your husband. You killed him and he died. And that did not get some sense into you. Huh? You can't greet people again. You can't greet someone again. Are we mates? Honestly, if you try it with me, if you try, I deal with you. What is wrong with you? Do you think every other person in this in this village is like Uchendo? Huh? Do you think like that every other man is like Uchendo, your husband? <laughs> that you will dance. Ah, you will dance and dance again. Shrugged so that with you. 
Have you lost your mind? Ah, come on! What's wrong with you? Ah? Have I lo Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed? Sorry, what? What is wrong with you? Keep your sorry for yourself. I, Abuchi Okeke, and every other man of this village is coming for you. No, good afternoon. Afternoon. Please, did you or have you seen my husband anywhere around this village? Am I the one you're asking? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course I'm asking you. Hey, but you know I've not been in good talking times with your husband. So I, I should be the one asking you. Or is he missing? No. Have you called his line? Are you looking for him? For my husband. Have you seen him anywhere? Your husband? Yes. I've not seen your husband anywhere. How? I'm feeling huh? so. What, what is the problem? The problem is that I have not seen my husband for days now. I have not seen him. I have not seen him either. I don't know where Uchendu is. Oh my huh? God. Okay, see what you will do for me right now, eh? Huh? Yes. Come and follow me. Let's go and look for him. Yeah. Follow you. Me. Eh. Uh, Unduka. Yeah, no. Wait now. Just, just look at you. Take a good look at yourself. Have you seen the condition you've placed your friend now? Hmm? Hope you're happy now. What, what condition is that? Oh, does he look happy? Are you not seeing the condition he's into ever since he lost his wife and married this other woman? Are you blind? Are you blind? Are you not in this village? Has he been happy ever since he got married to this other wife? Eh? And now he's even missing. I hope you're happy now. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Um, mommy, Uchendu joined join me in this condition. And that he's missing is he, not my fault. Even me that is here, I'm, I cannot even find myself. I'm missing too. Look at you. Stupid man like you. So now I am not a wicked woman. I am now referred to as a wicked woman. After everything I did, after everything I do in this house, so just make sure that okay. I feed you, I pay the bills, I take care of a grown up man like you. In fact, even this country are worried. Come here. I just bought it. I do everything to please you. I do everything to make this marriage work. Now you are calling me a wicked woman. I am done marrying you. I am no longer interested in the marriage. Please just leave my house. Please, please, leave my house now. Leave. I don't want to marry you anymore. Leave my house. Make this now. Are you still here? Mommy, please. Mommy, please now. Mommy. Are you still here? Leave my house.
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not adhering to your word. I'm very, very sorry. Forgive me. It's the devil. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So how is the whole thing? That, that is where the problem lies. That is where the problem is. Oh, my husband has been missing. I have not seen him for over a week now. I don't know where he has gone to. The husband has been missing for over a week? Yes. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. We were at home together. I left and returned. I couldn't find him again. I don't know where he has gone to. Did, did both of you quarrel? Uh, I mean, I mean, did you genuinely reconcile with him the last time I visited your home? Answer me. To be honest, father, I, I didn't know what came over me immediately you left and, and I started abusing him. Then the next day he left the house and up until now I've not seen my husband but I've not seen him. This is, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> have you seen mm. the sister? I mean, have you met with her? Yes. Um, the sister came to the house and she was threatening me. She said she's going to report to your mother. And I will tell the Uma that's where I kept my husband. This I've even gone around to ask his friends. No one seems to know his whereabouts. He don't know. This is unbelievable. <laughs> how, how, how can he leave the house without telling you where he was going? At least that will help us in, it will aid us in looking for him. <laughs> okay, do we, do we contact the police? I've been to the police station and they said I should give them his picture. Which I already gave to them. Eh? What about, have you checked around the bushes to know if he committed suicide? The bushes? And why would he commit suicide? Father, don't tell me this now. Don't, don't, make, don't give me high blood pressure. Please. Eh? Well, um, well, this is huge. I hope you didn't drown in our river. Because that will be very, very difficult. I mean, Help. it will be hard to find his cops. Help. Oh, Father, please don't, don't make this work for me. Uh, my sister. Son is drowning again. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. You see, there is nothing our God cannot do, okay? He has done it before. He's a God of possibilities. <laughs> I will go, okay, we will go into a genuine, divine intervention prayers i will pray fervently and i advise you pray as well i believe god in his infinite mercy will reveal everything to me and when he does i'll get back to you okay father i will pray but the only thing you can do for me now is to pray for me Pray, pray so that I can find my husband. Forget that sometimes before, but this is this is the moment I need him more. Eh? Now I know his worth in my life. Without my husband, I'm useless. Without him, I'm not enough. You know, please pray that I find my husband. It's okay. Pray. It's okay. God will definitely intervene. Okay. Don't worry. I believe God will listen to you. He will. He will. He will. Yeah. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah. You go. God. Don't worry, God, God, will, God will intervene, okay? Mm. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Thank you.
I have not killed him. I'm not even okay myself. Like I told you previously, he just left the house. I have not seen him since then. It's not my fault. I'm not even okay, Bikono. Justina, don't take my quietness to be calm for you. <laughs> I am giving you just two days. You will have to provide my brother for me. Or, or <laughs> you will see something. Provide my brother. So best to provide him. Auntie Grace, please understand me. Remember the person you are talking about here is my own husband. It is true that sometimes we quarrel in the house. But it's been devil's handwork. Oh, poor one more mellow, please. Don't, don't, don't take it so, so high. Oh! Let's my own. Better go and provide you. I am giving you just two days. Two days! Or else, you will see. Provide a brother for me. Oh, yeah, Father, I did not hear from you now. I waited for long. So I decided to come by myself. You mean you have not seen or had anything from me? No news yet. I have not heard anything about him yet. This is rather getting the same. Okay, let me ask you. Why are you worried and restless? <laughs> Did you ever love your husband this much? Father, do you know the truth? The truth is that I was misled. I was deceived by my girlfriend. So I was preventing Uche from doing to me what he did to his first wife that led to her death. According to what I was told. Father, it's a bear. It's a bear. <laughs> my dear, I was sad and upset when I heard he got married to that wife, Vita. That 
boy is heartless. He doesn't have a heart. Are you serious? See, I witnessed everything he did to his first wife. He maltreated that innocent woman. But my dear, I, I, I didn't know. What do I do now, Naya? I, I've gotten in already. I cannot undo what has been done. I'm already married to him. I know. And I wouldn't advise you to leave your marriage. But the thing is, we need to be asking questions before we get into this thing we call marriage. You are not around. <laughs> See, now, I won't advise you to leave your marriage. But you have to take charge of your marriage. Okay. The best form of defense is to attack first. Take charge of your marriage. Don't allow him to treat you the same way he treated his first wife. No, I, I have heard you, my friend. And I will do as you have directed. Better for you. Hey, thank you, my dear. What would I have done without you? Ah, what are friends for? <laughs> okay, tell me now. What would I offer you? What would you have in this house? This village house? Excuse me. Are you trying to insult me? I was joking. Have you forgotten how to make up a child? I know that. Nah. You know? <laughs> Ebere deceived me. She deceived me. She said terrible things about my husband. She made me hate my husband with so much passion. I wish I could see her now. I will strangle her with my bare hands. I will just kill her. Ebere is wicked. She's wicked. You see, it was important, man, that you have no way of problem is coming. Yeah, you have. And you see, your husband was not weak. He was only a slave to his conscience. Father, I regret every of my acts. I regret everything. People can be very callous and wicked. Everybody said terrible things about my husband that made me hate him. Now, where is she? Where is she? To be honest with you, Father. My husband is the best man on earth, as far as I'm concerned. What haven't I done to him? I've insulted him, humiliated him. Even sometimes I push him to know what he can do to me. But never for one day has he raised his hand against me. He was a more Are you sure about all this? Father, I miss my husband. And I wish you can understand how incomplete, how incomplete I feel right now. I miss my husband. I miss him so much. Sister Justin, what would you do for God if you find your husband? Hey. Father. Father, if I ever find my husband, I will worship God in truth and in faith. I will attend morning mass and evening mass. All the masses, I will never skip any. I will love my neighbors as myself. As a matter of fact, I will be a born again. I will be a born again. I mean it. Are you sure to cut your Father, I cannot lie to you. I cannot lie before God. I am in the church. I can't lie. So what thing would you do for your husband? Hey. If I ever use this my two eyes to see Uchendo in this life again. Hey. I will first of all apologize to him because I have wronged him so much. I will love him. I will appreciate him. I will never hurt him again. In fact, Father, I will worship my husband. I will worship Uchendu. Uchendu will be like my second God. Because I really hurt him. Worship him, Father.
Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go. Love, Gaga, Vanilla. Immortal. 